that's the treatment for that. You just get rid of it. Either compression stockings or try to get rid of it surgically. Okay. <clears throat> Now, chronic venous insufficiency, so if it gets really chronic, really bad, and this is talking about over long periods of time, these patients can have ulcers. And the other issue with them having ulcers is, yes, this can put them at risk for infection, okay? So how do you treat this? Compression therapy and definitely infection control, okay? So making sure that they don't get any type of bacterial infection or what have you. Okay, DBT, and actually I'm going to stop at DBT because it's nothing really much to say about what they're doing. Let me stop here and I'll go over all the stuff you need to know about DBT. So DBT, this is going to be deep vein thrombosis, so the deep vein in the leg, okay, low extremity can actually get to a point where there's a thrombus, okay. Now. What are some causes for this? A lot of different causes. Okay. Inactivity. Um, believe it or not, birth control pills. Okay. Um, smoking. And if you're smoking and taking birth control pills, that's, that's definitely not a good combination because you put yourself more at risk that way. Okay. Um, so please keep in mind inactivity. Okay. You can do it and all that. Now, with the DBT, the classic signs, okay, patients can have, and I'll just explain what happened to me, um, leg was swollen, hot, red, warm to the touch, okay, uh, very painful. Sometimes patients do mistake it for other things. They think, okay, maybe they, from a workout or injured their leg or think, think it's something else, maybe just a muscle soreness. But what's actually going on is that there is a thrombus in the deep vein now causing them to have a lack of blood flow causing this whole situation, this whole inflammatory process. Um, the way they treat this is by what? Anticoagulants, very good. So from my understanding, um, and some of you guys may know this and so you can correct me if I'm wrong, the heparin is given as far as an emergency situation in hospital and Coumadin is given at home, okay, or after treatment, home treatment, okay, and then keep in mind that these individuals, even with the heparin and Coumadin, uh, especially the Coumadin at home, they have to make sure that they are monitored, making sure they come back and get blood clotting assessment tests, okay, to make sure that their levels are normal, okay, that they're not thinning out the blood too much, okay, so just keep all of this in mind um, when you talk about DBT, I'm trying to think of anything. Oh yes, thank you. Modify the diet and stay away from vitamin K rich foods. Okay, vitamin K rich foods, especially when they're taking anticoagulants. Okay, because that's going to counteract the whole situation. Okay. Green leafy vegetables. Green leafy vegetables. Any any vitamin K rich food. So green leafy vegetables. I forgot what else is vitamin K rich, but whatever is vitamin K rich foods. So to speak. Spinach, okay, all that good stuff. And I'm stopping there. It's 4.30. Okay. Yay. Let me stop there for this. No, no, I still got to do 16. Let me just, let me just. No, no. I'm stopping at, you, you can cross out lymphedema. Yes, you can stop the recording. Stop the recording. So I get my